Hi guys, this is John with Music Greatness. Today we're looking at Vienna by Billy Joel. We'll start with the intro, which sounds like this. So what you just heard there was the intro to Vienna. This is a series of chords that are broken up in the left hand with a melody in the right hand. So first of all, let's take a look at the chords. We start with a B flat augmented. That's B flat in the left, D and G flat, followed by D for the right hand. To get to the next chord, the bottom note moves down to an A flat and the top note moves down to a C. So now we've got A flat 7 sharp 11. This is A flat, D and G flat for the left hand and just a C for the right hand. Next up, just the bottom two notes of the chord will move up by a half step to get to this A diminished. This is A and E flat and G flat for the left hand and C for the right hand. Next we have an E flat major chord. This is B flat, E flat and G for the left hand and just a B flat for the right hand. Next, E flat minor six over G flat. That's G flat, C and E flat for the left hand and a B flat for the right hand. followed by an F7. Left hand here has F, C and E flat, and the right hand has an A. And then finally we finish with a B flat major chord. That's B flat D and F for the left hand and B flat for the right hand. So now you know these chords, let's see how they fit with the rhythm. The left hand does a very similar pattern for the first three bars. You play the root note of the chord followed by the next two notes on the offbeat. So to begin with we'll play a B flat on beat one and then a D and F sharp on the end of beat one and on the end of beat two. One and two and. We'll do exactly the same rhythm for the next chord for this A flat seven sharp eleven. Three and four and. So that whole bar is one and two and three and four and. Then we'll do exactly the same rhythm for the next two chords. Our A diminished, one and two and, and then our E flat, one and two and. However, there's a slight difference here, which is that we don't play the G on the final time here with this E flat chord. So this whole bar will be one and two and three and four and. And at this point, your right hand is going to take over by playing a G, which is why we don't do it in the left hand. The next bar will start with the same rhythm, but finish with something slightly different. We'll start with the bottom three notes of that E flat minor six chord. So one and two and. And then for the F7, the rhythm will be one and two and. So this time we finish on beat four with the bottom note, which is the F. Three and four and, and in the final bar, we just do B flat major four times. So let's recap those four bars just for the left hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two, three, four. Next, let's take a look at this right hand melody. 
So as you saw in the demo, we're playing some very fast grace notes here. But first of all, I'm going to simplify that by just showing you the melody without the grace notes. So we start with a D on beat one, followed by a C on beat three and an F on beat four for that first bar. So one, two, three, four. Then for the next bar, we have C on beat one and B flat on beat four. And then on the end of beat four, we have 16th note triplets. That means that we have three notes together that all fit in the space of one eighth note. So G, A flat and A, which then lead to a B flat on the next downbeat. So with the counting, that will be one, two, three, four and one. So as you see there, these three notes here fit in the space of the final and, the and of four. And one. This next bar has exactly the same rhythm as the first bar, with a B flat on beat one, an A on beat three, and a D on beat four. And then finally finishing in the final bar with a single B flat. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's recap those four bars without the grace notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And now for the grace notes. We start with beat one on the D and we're going to roll up to that D with a B flat, C, C sharp. One. And these happen really fast just before the downbeat. So if I counted it all together, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, one. Then on beat three, we have two grace notes this time leading down to this C. We have a D, a C sharp, and then a C. So three, four. So that whole bar will be one, two, three, four. For the next bar, we have grace notes only on beat three. So leading up to beat three, we have a C, a D, and a C again, landing on this B flat on beat three. So that whole bar will be one, two, three, four, and one. The next bar, just as before, has three grace notes leading up to beat three. This time they are B flat, C, and another B flat, which lands on this A on beat three. So that whole bar there will be one, two, three, four, one. So let's recap the whole of the last four bars just for the right hand with the grace notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right, and once that's all comfortable, let's see how the two hands fit together. First of all, I'll do it without the grace notes in the right hand so you can see how the two hands fit together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one 
two, three, four. And then finally, with the grace notes, a little bit slower than the original tempo. Alright guys, now that's all broken down, let's hear the whole thing one more time at full speed. And that's it for the first part of this tutorial. If you'd like to learn the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.